Next, for Star Wars, would you like to be featured in the morning announcements? Please send us a video of you doing the character pledge, pledge to the flag, or the fabulous four. And if you would like to do multiple things, please remember to send us separate videos. Please record the video in portrait frame instead of landscape frame so we can put a background behind it. Send us your videos to DexterElementarySES at gmail.com. Good morning, everyone. It's time for the morning announcement. Building a culture of excellence every day is the Dexter way. These are your Dexter announcements. Good morning, good morning, Dexter Patients, and welcome to the beginning of a thankful Thursday here at Dexter Elementary School. Today is Thursday, February the 11th, and today is the 94th day of the school year, day 94. We stand at this time for the pledge to the flag. Respect is treating others the way I want them to treat me. Doing my work is taking responsibility. Perseverance is trying as hard as I can. Citizenship is getting along with my fellow men. Character matters to you and me, always doing our best whenever we may be. Character is who we are even when no one is watching. Thank you very much, scholars. And remember, character is who we are even when no one is watching. Well, today kicks off a thankful Thursday here at Dexter Elementary School. And as we do each and every Thursday, we have a few moments where I give my thanks on this thankful Thursday. And uh, today, I just want to, um, again, thank all of our parents, our partners in the work as we continue to navigate uh, through this virtual learning uh, platform and this virtual learning space. You all are doing an amazing job. So again, we appreciate you uh, so much. I know we've asked for so much and then in your homes, you have been um, have different challenges and obstacles, but we want to tell you how much we thank you for being partners really in this work, for helping us, helping your child every day, helping us help you to be successful um, even in this setting. And as we do every uh, day, scholars, we want to reiterate our virtual expectations that we do every day. And the main thing is, is this, making sure that you respect the virtual learning space as you would do if we were actually physically here in brick and mortar, Dexter Elementary School. So again, we want you engaged if you can from eight until three, making sure that your cameras are on, making sure that your mics are muted, making sure that you're using a raised hand feature, uh, and then also refraining from typing inappropriate comments in the chat box. Um, kudos to those scholars who are exemplifying the Fabulous Four, even in the virtual setting. As we uh, do every day around this time for the month of February, which is Heart Health Month, but also we are celebrating Black history with providing you with a Black history fact of the day related to Memphis, Tennessee. And today our Black history fact is Ida B. Wells Barnett, who was the NAACP co-founder. As we learned two days ago, Barnett had offices in First Baptist Church on Bill Street, where she, um, was part owner and wrote articles for the Memphis Free Speech, an African-American newspaper. In 1910, she co-founded the NAACP. Born to slaves in Holly Springs, Mississippi, Wells earned degrees from Russ College and Fisk University. Her earliest job was teaching in Memphis. She traveled across the country and in Europe to expose racial injustice. Wells was the most famous African-American female journalist of her time, writing articles for the New York Age, the Chicago Defender, the Memphis Watchman, Detroit Plain Diller, Indianapolis World, Little Rock Sun, and Chicago's The Consolatory a paper jointly owned by her husband, Ferdinand Barnett. Our Black History Fact of the Day is Ida B. Wells Barnett. As we do 
Each and every day, we would like to recognize and highlight those scholars and staff members celebrating a birthday today, Thursday, February the 11th. We have the following scholars celebrating a birthday today. Fifth grade scholar, Lasagna Gainwell. We also have third grade scholar, Mackenzie Payton. Also have first grade scholar, Chase Rice. And also kindergarten uh, scholar, Daniel Hope, celebrating a birthday today. So if you see any of those scholars, please wish them a happy, happy day. We would like to also send a happy birthday shout out to one of our paraprofessionals who supports the Department of Exceptional Children here at Dexter Elementary School, and that is Miss Denson. So if you see Miss Denson today, please wish her a happy, happy day. One additional announcement before we go into our moment of silence and the Fabulous Four, we want to remind all of our parents to please sign up your child for our next Saturday Learning Academy. Again, our expectation, our hope is that we have 500 Dexter Scholars involved in that worthwhile opportunity. And then today, because of the threat of potential weather, we know that power may go out, you may have connectivity issues, but we want to remind you that classes are still in session. So again, please your child's teacher if you need um, assistance, if you lose connectivity, because we want to ensure that all of us are successful today. So again, at this time, we're gonna pause for a moment of silence, followed by the Fabulous Four. A. Act safety. B. B. Be responsible and respectful. C. 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 Care for, care you. for yourself and others in your environment. A and B. Do your best at all times. Thank you very much, scholars. Well, again, today promises to be a great, great day of teaching and learning in the virtual setting. So, again, uh, please be engaged today in the learning process. Um, asking questions, participating, um, just doing what you need to do to be successful because every day you make a choice. You make a choice to make today a positive, great day. And remember students, success is yours. So again, we're looking forward to visiting your classrooms. Again, if you're kicked out of classes, connectivity issues, it is okay. Your teachers have um, assignments for you. Um, so again, don't stress and parents, please reach out to your child's teacher. Again, let's make today a thankful Thursday and we'll see you this afternoon for the afternoon announcements. Building a culture of excellence every day is the Dexter way. Responsibility and integrity. Building a culture of excellence.